today we're gonna be doing a <laughs> a braid mermaid braid we're gonna be doing a mermaid braid so you want to prepare the hair first you want to comb the hair make sure you're on the clean head of hair and you want to part it at your desired area and then after you part you just go ahead and start braiding down Okay, we're gonna put. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little baby hair on this side just to make sure I don't braid it in with. So can I have a mask on? You can have some take your mask off or to get the sides, or you can just go just like I did, go under the mask. You have to learn how to work around this mask because like they're gonna be here for a minute. A little longer than a few minutes late. Okay, so in order for it to look like it's smaller, what you want to do is twirl and make sure your end is down and try to make it in a somewhat point. And I was trying to put a little bobby pin on it to help secure it as well. You can also sew it which we will probably do with the reading thread. Then after you put it on, you just kind of spread it out some more. With the desired fullness. Because you already got to be able to have enough to cover the braid. So I want it to look like it's a um, feed in. So the feed ins are smaller in the beginning and it gets fuller as it goes out. So, there we have it. So that's coming down there. So after you get it at your desired fullness, what you can do after that, you can just shape it around. Go ahead and see where you want to pin it. So you can just go ahead and bob and pin it together. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to this side here. It's a tri-color. I added um, three colors in. It has a little 27 piece, a little blonde, a little brown, and the um, 30, which matches her hair color perfectly and her skin color. And it's going to bring out the highlights nicely once we complete the braid. So when you get to the back, you're trying to determine which side you want to come on. A lot of times it can come this way, or you can bring your braid to attach it here and it come on this side. With a couple more pins in here so we can keep it full. I'm gonna pin it down right on her braid. And my bobber pin will be hidden like that. Before I do this piece, let's go ahead and braid this in with this one. At the same time, you still want to keep your pulls. 
So as I do it, I'm just gonna make it pull it as I go. Secure it with the rubber band at the very bottom. So right now we're just making sure all her braids are covered and it expanded wide enough over here. Add a couple ball pins down in here. I'm using crochet needle to actually put in some little tendrils, I call it. Just so it can fall down, like so. And then you can kind of take your pin and pin it in. Because you might not want a lot of it hanging. Put some hair jewelry in here now and spray her. It'll be all set. There you have it. This is our finished style. You see the intricate detail in the back where she have a braid and the tender pieces coming in. Mm -hmm.